Hello everybody again, this is Cool Kid Nias here. I've had a thought that I, sh I should have made a video, a video about this a long time ago, but I've never got to it, but today I'm gonna get to it. We're gonna talk about this real fan and community. Now, there is positives, and then you have the negatives. We're talking about both, but it's mostly gonna be the negatives. To pretty much start this whole thing off, this rail fan community has to grow up. It's going to have to. There's so much bullying going on. There's so much competition of photos going on. There's just so much hatred going on to the point where it's like you question what the heck. There's a lot of people out here, rail fanners I'm talking about, that are very... They, they they take it as this 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 community thing is a competition meaning that oh my pictures are better than yours or you know what I'm going with this I've always tried to tell people this real fan community is not a competition it's something it's a hobby that you enjoy and by enjoying it you go out there every single day or whenever you can People have taken this whole thing way out of hand. Like it's it's gone beyond out of hand. Whether if I stop it or somebody someone needs to do something. I mean it's getting out of hand. This bully cyberbullying in particular has pe people's been doing suicides, people has been doing this, just doing a whole bunch of stuff. I mean some this is gonna have to stop <laughs> flat out it's gonna have to stop this 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 hobby does not require competition it doesn't require bullying none of that it's something that you enjoy doing you go out you get your pictures do whatever the heck you do you do you want with them and go home or do whatever you need to do there's no sense of bullying other people I just don't see it. Now, we're, you're not, now I I know for a fact nobody is innocent in this whole flip in this whole thing. Nobody is. Everybody is guilty at some way, shape, or form, including myself. Before I got into this whole thing, there was people bullying me. I bullied them back, and it was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. As I got older and matured, everything is you know, everything's changed. To my young guys out there, my young bucks, you're learning the hobby. Those are the main ones that are getting made fun of. The guys that are around, you know, 10 to 12, 13. Though those young bucks are getting made fun of because they scream when they see a train. Everybody has their own way of rail fanning. There's no point of you judging about it. Now, everybody likes when I say yes, sir, in my videos. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how I do it. Y'all know Kangaman. He does his praise breaks. He'll, you know, he he does him. Everybody has their way of doing real fanning. Whether you're quiet, you talk, commentate, whatever. There's no point of this hobby being so judgmental. I feel like this hobby has went downhill. I know back in the day, I'm only 19, but back in the day, I've been told this real fan, this hobby right here, real fans looked after for each other. And you still have some to this day that look after you, but you have some of them that like, okay, you do one little thing, one little thing and they explode and it goes viral. I would tell you guys what happened, but this whole situation, but I gotta say, I don't want to sit here too long. And this video is going to be over five minutes, but I won't go in depth with this story, but I'll give you just a little bit, a little, a little taste of it. Basically me and my buddy won't, don't give his name out. Me and my buddy went to Chattanooga, went up there. The Erie Heritage Unit was leading a manifest. I believe it was 101 and that's 101 and the Erie was leading on it. He was working the yard. Well, there was a, there were some people over there on the crossing, the same side we were on. 
So we was like, okay, we're gonna go across. We're gonna go across, and we're gonna just get our own little spot. Long story short, we get back from Chattanooga. They took pictures of us, and it went viral, saying how we were quote trespassing and blah blah blah. Those type people are is what I call a bunch of immatures. That's all they are. They haven't grown up yet. They're still in the little leagues. <laughs> you even have the young bucks now that are, they know what the heck they're talking about. You know, not throwing shade on the young bucks, but hey, you give them some credit. I mean, they're doing good jobs. They're, I got something that texts me saying, hey man, you got 211 coming down with such and such leading and look out for it if you can. Or I got people from Georgia or or every any anywhere people let me know stuff and I shout you guys out. I appreciate it. Uh but like I said, this this little rough in community thing is gonna have to grow up or something because if this gets any more out of hand, this stuff is gonna get even more serious. People say that this rail fanning hobby isn't fun anymore. I still think it's fun because I like coming out morning, day, evening, or night to to get trains and to share it with you guys to see, hey, this is what I got. I don't take rail fanning as a competition. I just like showing people what I got or as an update or something like, hey, 211 came through with such and such leading, cleared Seneca. I, I, I like to update people. But you have some that knows about the update, the update about it, but they don't say anything. The, that that kind of stuff is just uncalled for. So, long like, like I said before, this rough and hobby as a whole needs to grow up. If you're going through the phase of getting bullied because of the way that you rail fan those type people hasn't grown up yet at all meanwhile you if you're going through that kind of stuff simply ignore them you're obviously doing something that gets their attention and they're more concerned about you than they than they are their own selves they're more concerned about you and how you do your thing and they take time to laugh at you that that's fine it's positive vibes here <laughs> Positive vibes all day. You got to remember that. To my young bucks, I know how y'all real fan. It's okay to scream. I'm not, it, no one should say it's not okay to scream. If that's how you real fan, that's how you real fan. There's no point of people judging you about this stuff. There's no point. If you scream in your videos, if you dance in your videos, if you commentate in your videos whatever you want to do it's first of all it's your channel your videos so you do the heck that you want if they take the time to watch your videos your views is growing up <clears throat> if they even if they even have the guts to sub to your channel hey that's more subs for you so don't take it as a negative thing and people are laughing at you let them laugh at you ain't worried about them i've had a few people in my lifetime that has laughed at me because I took, got a, a certain train. What I do, I laughed. I'm like, oh, well, just another hater. But hey, haters going to hate. And as I always told some of my, my boys, your haters are your mo motivators. So you got to remember that. That goes for my young bucks. That goes for my big boys. And then you got... You got the middle. That goes for all of us. But like I've told y'all, like I like I told y'all a while ago, this hobby is going to have to grow up. Not just where I'm at. I'm talking all over because it happens all over the place. I just had a feeling I need to get on here and say that. It was time for it to come out. I was going to say it for tomorrow, but I was like, nah, I need to do it today. So... Give me your thoughts. I mean, I've I've known I know at least some of y'all. It may not be all y'all, but some of y'all has been through the same shoes before. If you want to talk to me about it, we'll talk about it. If you got my um, Instagram and what I say, 
Instagram and Facebook and have no problem, you know, text me and say, hey man, you know, I put the Facebook park the Facebook in the description as same as the Instagram. So I feel like I need to let that out because I it was just it was in me for too long and I needed to get that out. But um I hope everybody has a great day. If you went real thing today, I hope your day was good. And don't let those haters get under your skin. We we're too blessed to be stressed. Too blessed to be stressed. Blessed to have a railroad. Blessed to have people who cheer you on and motivate you and keep you going. I appreciate you guys because y'all the reason I'm still going. I have people who all over the place that cheer me on, keeping me going, keeping me going. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm I'm truly blessed. I know I told y'all I wasn't gonna hold y'all up and be and be boring, but I felt like this needed to be said. So I'm gonna get off. Um, this is Cool Kid Nias here. Um, like I said, I should be out on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, definitely Thursday. Friday, I don't know. Saturday, I do not know because I have to work, surprisingly. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, I'm about to get off of here. Give me something to eat and lay down. So... Y'all boys have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow if you don't hear from me on here. So, um, y'all have a blessed day. And, uh, like I said, your haters are your motivators. Peace out, boys. <laughs>